158 pounds. Latest betting just before the off. Long boat, five to one on. Nine to one, Petruzzo. Nine to one, the Prince. Prince. They're off, Graham. And so with two and a quarter miles in front of them and the badger session going on from the prudent prince in second place and patrizzo in third and longboat the back marker as they race through the first furlong and it's magistician in the lead from the prudent prince in second place then patrizzo racing third and longboat fourth and uh, john lowe was anxious to get a good lead seemed to go through the first furlong uh, fast and now has steadied the pace and joe mercer pace very important in a race of this nature it's an awful long way to go they're just basically off of the right sort of pace for this race. They've gradually increased the tempo when they've gone after a mile and a quarter, mile and a half. But Willie's quite happy where he is at the moment. And this also, Willie's got plenty of pace, so he'd be quite happy to sort of sit back there and just sort of watch the race from behind for the first mile. So, Magistician leading from Pruden Prince in second place. Then comes Patrizzo in third and Longboat in fourth. So Magistician leading. John Lowe, 30 winners this season. Won the Portland, or some people might have it that he stole the Portland. Magistician, however, the leader in this Doncaster Cup. A horse that's bred in Germany. And you can see that uh, that's, what I, <laughs> that's what I'm doing, looking through my binoculars down at the start. I do believe we're peering into the press stand. Uh, the eagle-eyed journalist, see Magistician, the leader. I say, bred in Germany, and uh, this horse was on target at the start of the season to run in the German St. Ledger. Magistician, the leader, from Bruden Prince in second place, and there are the starting prices. Longboat, the five to one on favorite, is third. And Patrizzo back in fourth place. So Magistician, the leader, from Prudent Prince, Ray Cochran, 66 winners this season. Then behind me is Willie Carson on Longboat. And then Patrizzo and Cash Asmussen. Will have uh, been advised by Clive Britton, who has a very high opinion of Cash, as indeed we all do. Some of the idiosyncrasies of this horse, I remember a couple of years ago, we just could not believe our eyes when he uh, beat Wagoner. But he did, and he to be disqualified. So it's Magistician in the lead from the Prudent Prince in second place, and Longboat poised in third. Just idling a bit in third place, with Patrizzo in fourth. So they start the turn into the home straight, four and a half furlongs to race. And Magistician yet to be headed, the Prudent Prince, and Longboat just having to be niggled along on the outside, got his tongue hanging out now. And it's um, going to be a true test of stamina. Patrizzo in the yellow sleeve jacket next to the rails in fourth place as Longboat makes quite heavy weather of this at this stage at least as the prudent prince goes on. Magistician can find no more. Longboat now uh, comes with, the, with a wet sail on the outside and Patrizzo now poised to challenge. And at this stage, I'd say Patrizzo is going as well as any. I wonder what's left in the locker. Cash asked Moose and asks him as Willie Carson goes now two out. Longboat from Patrizzo in second, Prudent Prince third, Magistician in fourth, and Patrizzo is the one that throws down the challenge to Longboat. Longboat from Patrizzo. It's a battle. Third on to go. Patrizzo and Longboat. Patrizzo and Longboat. Little to choose between the two. It, the fight is really on. Longboat battles. Patrizzo can find no more to the last 50 yards. He's hanging in badly. A photo finish. Desperately close. Wouldn't like to nominate it. Patrizzo and Longboat gone past together from Prudent Prince in uh, third place, Magistician in fourth. Difficult ride this 